Mrs. Timbo66 is Polish and has a significant birthday coming up. Obviously, I daren't tell you which it is, which is why I am currently in Poland, indeed, in this town. Nine letters, one vowel. I've been coming here 10 years and I still can't pronounce it properly. However, we did go to Warsaw for a day, which is a fantastic place. I'd highly recommend it into history there's a hell of a lot of history in warsaw now one of the good things about warsaw is warsaw west railway station why because there's a little kiosk there that sells knives unfortunately nearly all of them are flick knives and i was trying to explain why i'm not buying one particularly with the current legislation being proposed and he thought it was quite amusing and tried to sell me a little one what i did buy was this this was 15 zloty which works out at about two pound fifty as you'd expect, it's not brilliant, but it's a souvenir, and I quite like it, actually. I get a nice, interesting blade shape. I do like funny blade shapes. Um, handle is, well, we could call it imitation G10. It's not even really that. It's injection molded plastic. It's held together with some nails by the looks of it. Yep, only two of them as well. And it's... Stainless steel. I doubt it's very good quality stainless steel, not for £2.50. Now, is it sharp? Well, actually, it surprisingly is sharp. Let's try. Yep, that'll do. Not a great little say about it. I bought it as a souvenir. I was quite surprised it wasn't actually more sort of, you know, welcome to Poland knives or present from Poland knives, but there aren't, which is a bit of a shame. It's quite a handy knife. It's quite well designed. It's a shame it's not better quality, frankly. Fits a hand quite nicely, choke it up quite well. So, like I said, I like, I like this sort of slashing karambit almost style blade, I suppose. Not a great deal else to say about it, really. Um, lock back, works reasonably well, and it's actually quite firm. For £2.50, I'm quite impressed with it. I mean, it's, it's not £2.50 um, Anglo arms by any means, but it's a little souvenir, and that's what I bought it for, really. I'm not going to, you know, it's, it's almost a throwaway knife, frankly, if I didn't have to travel a thousand miles to replace it, which is probably not a very good idea. It, it'll sit in the collection and be used, I think, because it is, it's, it's, it's quite a nicely designed knife. You can hold it quite nicely. It's comfortable. It's just not very well made, which is a shame. However, if you do come to Poland, I'm sure I'd thoroughly recommend and highly recommend going to Warsaw. It's an astonishing place changed significantly in the, the decade or so I've been going there. There's not a lot of knives for sale. That did surprise me. Unless you go to Warsaw West Railway Station. There are a few kiosks that sell things, so in various quantities and qualities. Unfortunately, so the, the, the ones I particularly like were flick knives, and at the moment, dear me, no. Perhaps in a couple of years' time when we find out what the law's like, I might have some to, to store in Poland in this little place we often stay at. So this is my little cheap souvenir knife from Warsaw.